salt bike. <laughs> no joke. About to cook up some easy, easy lunch after the gym, all in one pan, and thought I'd show you guys how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start by cutting up the leeks. I prefer to just use the white parts and not use the greens, and they get really um, sandy and gross, so if you haven't cooked with leeks before, make sure you slice them and throw them in a uh, strainer and rinse them really well with water, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Ends off and cut in half. I'm gonna flip them and slice them. Now they're sliced, I'm gonna take these and put them into my strainer that's inside of a bowl. Now I'm rinsing them. So I'm letting the bowl fill up with water so that I can make sure I try to separate all of the little slivers um, because the dirt grows into the creases um, between it. So you wanna kind of break up like all the pieces that are together like this. Like you make sure that you break them apart and rinse them two or three times just to be safe because there's nothing worse than making your meal and then taking a bite and it's full of sand. That's pretty disgusting. And onto the garlic, I'm gonna use five cloves because I don't believe there's such a thing as too much garlic as long as it's being cooked. If it's raw, there is definitely such a thing as too much garlic. And I cut off the ends and smash them with the knife so the skin cuts off. I'm gonna mince it. Um, Kind of finely, whatever, and then uh, get started with the actual cooking process. All right, it's time to actually cook. So we're gonna get this flame on like medium, throw a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Maybe that's like a tablespoon and a half. I don't know, something like that. Dump in your garlic and uh, then I'm gonna add the meat. I'm gonna use some ground pork but you could also just leave it meat free if you're vegetarian, because uh, we have the beans in there. So it's up to you. If you're vegetarian, the beans could count as your protein. If not, yep. So if you're not vegetarian, you can choose some kind of ground meat, whatever you like, turkey, chicken. This is pork. Um, you could probably use beef, although, I don't know, it might be a little strong. Um, and my container was a pound but I used about three quarters of a pound because it's gonna be for Justin and I for lunch. So that's usually what we do if we're making a meal for ourselves, for two people, about three quarters of a pound is gonna be enough. So these guys have been rinsed three times and since I have my strainer inside of the bowl, it makes it really easy to just drain them out, get all the water off, make sure they don't look dirty. There's no extra, I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> You'll have to pull that black. I have the feeling I'm about to run out of real estate in this pan and I should have chosen a larger one, but we're gonna dump the leeks in and they will at least melt down a little bit so that it's not taking up quite as much room. So they're in and if you haven't um, cooked with leeks a lot, they're basically just onions. It's like fancy onions, um, a slightly lighter flavor, but pretty much that's what it is. And then I'm gonna add some chicken broth just cause I have it left over. And if I go throw a little broth in there, it will steam and then it will cook faster. Salt and pepper, which I need two hands to grind. So you're not gonna see me do that. So that leaves me with the greens that I'm gonna throw in and the beans. So the beans I'm using as my carbs in this meal. Um, and basically one can has almost two cups. It's not really quite two cups and we're gonna have about a cup each of carbs. So I drained these and I'm gonna dump the whole thing in. And the leafy green blend just went in there as well. And now it's time to taste it and see what kind of seasonings I need to add. So obviously the best part is gonna be this. And it's super hot, so I'll try to see how it is. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much perfect, but life is worth living. I'm adding maybe a teaspoon of butter to just give it a little more creaminess. Um, you could probably put in some lemon juice if you wanted to kind of brighten it up, or you could use like maybe even a little bit of white wine or vermouth to give it in a little. And we have the finished product. It's like kind of a mix between like a skillet and almost like a stew because the beans make it kind of thick and it gives it like a sauce and it's so good. And you could also put some Parmesan cheese on here or a little bit of fresh nutmeg.